GTA 6 trailer drops before GTA 6. Boys and girls, welcome back to another fresh, delicious, brand new video. That's right, you heard me correctly. GTA 6 has officially been announced, but don't be too excited just yet because the trailer announced that the release date is not set till 2025. So you still got a whole another year of life without GTA 6, but the trailer did end up dropping and it set records. GTA 6 is going to be based in Vice City, so they're going back in time, which is uh, based in Florida. And the trailer had a ton of funny memes based in Florida. And if you haven't seen the trailer, I can't show it to you. I want to, but I can't because they're going to claim this video, and uh, which is weird. I think it's dumb that a company that's promoting something is claiming so people don't show it. I don't know. I think it's odd, but that's just me i guess there's also a lot of people upset about this game for the reason that the protagonist is a woman and not only that she is a woman of color so there's a lot of people thinking uh this this game is too woke i guess and also the how there's too many black people in the game i think it's just pretty bizarre i think people just like to get mad about anything there's even people getting upset because you have to shoot cops in this game if you're not familiar with the gta series i guess this whole game is called grand theft auto it's you're a you're a criminal against the police i don't know if this is news to those people that are upset that they're shooting cops i still don't know it's pretty insane but anyways we're not going to get into all this culture war uh with this with this with the game this is supposed to be a place where you go and have fun the outside world shouldn't have any conflict within so obviously the depictions are not of real life but i did want to show you guys all of the little easter egg that gta 6 or the rockstar gaming uh put in the trailer there's a lot of cool little easter eggs it's gonna be very realistic to like real life i guess i mean gta roleplay has been like a huge catalyst since gta 5 came out 10 years ago people have still managed to play the game and find new ways to still have fun um, even if, even if they passed the game like a hundred times already, uh, GTA Online is like a, another level of GTA that you probably have never seen before. People go in there and have actual jobs. There's like this whole TikTok account that I saw a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, of this guy that he's a cop and he like he like busts people he uh gives people tickets he has like the actual penal code uh he, it's it's a whole it's a whole thing it, it's a whole community that is pretty awesome and i think they are going to capitalize on that because i think gta 6 is going to be based on actual actual like real life scenarios and i'm gonna show you guys those right now so this is some of the easter eggs that you probably missed maybe not maybe you are uh chronically online like myself so you've probably seen this these memes before but here's, here's some that you probably missed that i thought they were pretty cool and i also like how they made it look like a tiktok or a reels uh video that was being sh showed maybe you were able to like go on tiktok on in gta like super meta online while online you know one of those i thought that was really cool that they had that and uh they had this lady which is uh if you guys remember the infamous uh lady in florida with the two hammers so they did an homage for her uh and many others as you are about to see so they did her here's another one the alligator man obviously the crazy dancing the graphics are so good and i think they're probably going to still keep improving it like if unity comes with out with a new uh, software update or something they're obviously going to keep updating the graphics because it doesn't come out for another year and a half the police chase the man watering his lawn naked i don't know if you guys caught that one naked neighbor um that was also a part of the video this is, I thought it was super cool. The courtroom with the crazy Joker looking dude. The rednecks, the uh, dirt bikes on the road take over. The alligator roaming the streets. Overall, pretty cool that they implemented all those. I wonder what other Easter eggs that they're going to add into this. I've seen other videos on YouTube of like other people that have analyzed every frame of this um, and like found little Easter eggs. But these were like the crazy viral videos that had been going on and they implemented them into the game. I don't know how they're going to implement into the game. Maybe you have to go and take the hammers away from her. Uh, maybe you have to go rescue an alligator from a, pa from a pool. Maybe you have to beat the Joker up in jail. I don't know. But the fact that they're in the game is a sign that it's not going to be like a super serious like game i guess it's gonna have fun challenges and like the meme culture is gonna be in there as well so i'm definitely excited to play it when it comes out 
in a year and a half. Hmm. Also, the trailer beat a world record and outbeat Mr. Beast's video of having the most views in 24 hours. I think it had like 90,000 in 24 hours. Now it sits at like 117 in two days pretty wild that it's just it's breaking records it's gonna break a record also when it does come out i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be playing this game so definitely more records will be broken once this game actually comes out but anyways i just had to update you guys with gta 6 are you guys excited do you guys care or not care will you be playing gta 6 did you miss all of these easter eggs is there more that i've missed please let me know down below and don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already done so okay and i'll see you on the next fresh delicious brand new video Peace out. Poop.